The story you are about to see is true. We made no attempt to change the names or to protect the innocent. On November 19th at 1.03 p.m., officers of the Chicago Police Department arrived at the scene of the studios of WCFC-TV, 1 North Wacker Drive, Chicago. The suspect, production manager Larry King. Is Larry King? This is Larry King. Larry King. Uh -huh. It's not my birthday. It's not your birthday. We're not here because of your birthday. This is Officer Ramirez. I'm Officer Kozak. We have a warrant for your arrest, Larry King. How exciting. How exciting. Well, we got a warrant for arrest from the American Cancer Society. Oh. Uh -huh. Jim Frakes relative to a number of complaints. It says, you inadvertently failed to say grace before supper yesterday. Oh, no. Very serious. And also a cash glutton. We understand that you uh, raised a lot of cash for the station. And I yes, sir. Yes, a little sir. above and beyond. But what you got to do now is come with us to the American Cancer Society at 111 West Washington, where you will be brought in front of a judge. He'll set your bail, and you'll be formally charged, judged, and most probably found guilty, okay? 1.15 p.m. Following his arrest, the suspect was escorted out of the building and taken down to the American Cancer Society's slammer at 111 West Washington Street, where he was informally charged. He's being charged with inadvertently failed to sell grace, say grace before supper yesterday, and he's also a cash glutton, my understanding. He's raising a lot of cash. cash well, an, an additional charge was phoned in while the policemen were en route to pick you up. An additional and charge. And that is that a warrant uh, has been issued to search your place of residence, and it has been determined that you have removed the tags from the mattress and pillows that say do not Wrong, remove wrong, Your Honor. I, I protest. I protest. Despite the suspect's protest, however, he was incarcerated for the good of the American Cancer Society and their jail and bail program. Joan Eagle is a practicing attorney in Chicago and volunteered her time to serve as a judge. People are being arrested either voluntarily or um, at the request of another individual and are being brought down here and uh, the charges are being read to them or they're being informed at their offices or place of employment what the charges are. They're being brought in and uh, they in general have been pleading guilty. Uh, Mr. King was brought in and uh, he originally pleaded not guilty until we informed him of the seriousness of the charge, and he changed his mind. And uh, he bond was set for him at $1,000. And then uh, he became contemptuous, and bond was raised another $1,500 to $2,500. So how does, what does he have to do to get out of jail? Uh, he has to call people to make bond for him. Uh, if he knows a wealthy individual, he could do it with one friend at $2,500. If he has no friend, he's going to be in the pokey for a long time. Sources within the slammer tell us that the suspect is having a remarkably difficult time raising sufficient funds for bail and may be detained for an indefinite period. Reporting from the American Cancer Society's Jail and Bail Slammer, I'm Tim Frakes for Windy City Alive.